Good afternoon and um, welcome to another digital tarmac video. Um, this one is just showing you the easy way to harvest um, XP for your cars so you can unlock all the parts. I know some people out there like to keep driving it and gradually add the bits to it but for me personally I've earned money in the races and that. I want to get the car. I want to get all the stuff on it. And I want to start being able to tune it properly straight away. So this is the easy way to do it. So find the car you want. In this case, I've gone with the R32. You can see that it's a sad car level one. I only had 300 car points. So I just added an air filter. You can see that all the stuff's pretty much un um, locked up and that as well. <clears throat> so we're going to solve this problem. Um, so yeah, you know what uh, your actual class is, so go to Rivals, pick the class, C class in this case, pick any track you want, doesn't matter which one it is, I just did that one because I hadn't done any laps of it at all, so yeah, just thought I'll do that track, um, get your track selected, obviously you'll pick your car, Go to start race. Now this was already set up, but it'll show the settings and everything for you anyway, which will come up in a second. I'm narrating over the recording, which I did on the Xbox, so I've already done it. So yeah, so go in there, go into your settings, and you can see um, I've got fully assisted on everything I can, uh, throttle assist uh, fully. You want the traction control and the sp stability on. Um, I have tried it with them off and on sport, but when the computer's driving, it doesn't seem to like it that much. And also you want to have the manual uh, thing for the pitch, you want to have that off as well, because if you accidentally select that to on, it'll probably keep driving in the pits. So. I've done that, I just did the skip lap, so I'll just get a flying lap rather than standing, doing it from a standing start. So here we are, it's on the base, it's the first time the car's been driven, hence why the little bar at the top underneath car level 1 isn't filled up at all. The computer is literally controlling this completely now. Um, so yeah, you can just sit back, go and do whatever you're doing and the computer will take over and you'll see as um, you complete a section, so this is how you get your experience generally in your tracks, um, that's now lit that bar up a little bit and you've got 20 CXP, all that and then basically as you unlock you'll get your car points and that as well, although I'm sure you know that. Now I've skipped forward so the bar has now just filled up and that's now gone to car level 2 um, and literally if you just turned your TV or whatever you're using off and just left that overnight you could basically get up in the morning and you're going to have a level 50 car with as many car points as what you're going to need good to go so there you go that's the easy way to harvest some car points uh, just to say though before I go the driver tar that it's using has got another capability as well which is quite handy if for example you're doing car tunes that you're not quite sure about because the performance of the driver tar is quite consistent uh, a good idea to see if it's any good or not for a certain track um, is to let the driver tar do laps with both setups and see how it comes out um, so yeah, I mean, there you go, that's that's levelled the car up a little bit, and you'll also get a score, I think, on the lap time chart as well. Although, unless you're a particularly bad driver, you should always be able to outdrive the driver tar. But there you go, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, I'll give you more Forza tips and tips for other racing games in the future. Thank you very much.